Welcome to the Creating Competencies demo. In this demo, you will learn how to create a competency and recognize its structure. At the end of this demo, you will be able to create a competency and its children along with associated activities. First, log in to your D2L Brightspace account and go into your course. In the Course Tools drop down menu, in the upper left of your course homepage, click on the Competencies link. Notice that you have the option to view your current competency list under the Browse section and you have the option to create a new competency. If you do not have these options, go to Settings and click Standard View. To create a new competency, click on the New icon and then choose Competency. In the Name field, type in the name for the competency. For example, crossing a city street. In the description box, type in a description for the competency. For example, press the button, wait for the walk signal, look both ways, and walk across. In the status drop down box, notice that there are four choices draft, in review, approved, and archived. If you choose Draft, you can make changes to your competency. Choose Approved when you are ready to make it available to your students. Beware of Archived, as this choice will never allow you to see or alter the competency again. Check Make the Competency and its Children Visible checkbox to allow users to see this competency. Check the Allow Reevaluation of Users checkbox if you want the system to reevaluate users if you make a change to the competency. Click Save. Next, click on your new competency. Then, at the top of the page, click the Structure button and the Edit Structure tab. Click the Add Child link to expand it and then click the New Learning Objective link. To add a learning objective to your competency, in the Name field type in the name of the learning objective. For example, press Signal button. In the description box, type a description of the learning objective. Example, cover different types of signals, including those for the blind. Under Enforced Assessment Method, choose No. If you choose Yes, then you can only meet the activity using the checked boxes, and you would have to delete this to change it. Under Ready for Evaluation, choose Yes. This leaves each activity ready when you are ready to change the competency from Draft to Approved. Click the Add button. Repeat this process until you have created all of the learning objectives for this competency. When you are finished, click on one of the new learning objectives. Next, click the Structure button. Then, the Edit Structure tab. Click the Add Child link, and then click the red Incorporate Activities link. The choices shown would now be restricted if you chose the Enforced Assessment Method option earlier. I didn't choose that, so I have all of the choices available to me. Next, select an activity to create. I will choose a manual assessment activity. Fill in the information required. Name, signal button activity. Select the rubric and criteria for passing this activity. If you don't have any rubrics, you will first need to create one. If you need help creating, please visit the Creating Rubrics demo. Then click the Add button. 
Repeat this process until you have created all the activities for this learning objective. Then click on Competency Home to return to the competency list. Then repeat that process to add activities to each learning objective in this competency. To grade the competency from the Competency Home page, click on the name of the competency you are working on. Change the status to Approved. and click Save. Click on the competency name again. Click the Results button. The completed column will show you who has completed the entire competency. You can click on a name to see what parts of the competency this person has completed. Click Closed when you are finished. If you believe the person is competent, you can manually mark this competency complete for them by checking the box next to their name and clicking the check mark at the top or bottom of the column. Note that when you do this manually, there will be a red asterisk next to the check mark to show that it was manually changed. You have now successfully created a competency. You can now unlock content or assessments, etc., based on the activity or competency having been completed using the release conditions under the restrictions tab in most tools. For example, you can have a news item appear for the student with the message of congratulations with the student's name once the competency has been achieved.